Hello you wonderful wonderful people I am your friend Kevin and this is your card and your message of the day As always welcome 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 new subscribers existing friends of the channel I love your comments I love you I like doing this every day so thanks for helping me help you and help us all together right credit where credit's due I am going to start with the cards and the divination tools I use to bring you a message we have happier me affirmation cards and today's affirmation from the happier me folk is I am exactly who I need to be in this moment with the words all of your past actions are teaching moments for your present self. Every lesson takes you to the present moment to exactly who you need to be. Every lesson that takes you to the present moment to exactly who you need to be. Kind of interesting. Um, we're working with the Divine Masters Oracle Debt by Kyle Gray for our card of the week and we have none other than Lady Venus. Actually, we have Sanat kumara which is all part of the venusians and this is light activation a call to action a surge mission uh, earth missions and really it is lifting our hearts to all realms all four corners um all beings in all places getting us to the point where love is our compass needle I'm aligned with my missions, anchored in my purpose, and I expect all my good intentions to manifest perfectly. Done. This is what you put your heart to, what you put your soul to. Incidentally, we are in a number five angel numerology day. So just for that, putting that out there. I've been seeing 555 a lot, so it's almost like amplified. The heads up that big changes are coming. Um, and to put yourself in the launch pad for those changes to happen. Okay, here we go. Uh, Beatrice, Gertrude, thank you for being with us today with your messages. I'm taking a little look to see where they are and what environment they're in. Um, still outside, still in the clearing of the, of the um, nature. Um, the Oh, so Beatrice is saying watch the changes in nature, the growth in nature, wherever you are in the northern hemisphere, it's spring. Wherever you are down under in the southern hemisphere, it's going into autumn. So things are definitely changing. In one part of the planet, we're amping up. Another part of the planet, we are closing down. All right, there we go. There's our card of the day. We're using the um, Archangel Michael, Sword of Light. Um, card for our card of the day by Radley Valentine illustrations by Echo Chernick and our card of the day is angels of healing are with you um, there's a caduceus which is Archangel Raphael and Archangel Michael sword of light and then there's a heart up behind it this is a number two card and a number two for me is collaboration it's collaboration with Lady Venus. It's collaboration with light activation. A time of healing is about to bless you in your life. Accept Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while Archangel Michael enhances your strength. I'm gathering some thoughts about what healing you know anytime there is a change that's coming and a change that's on the horizon it usually comes from a place of some things have got to come to an end before new beginnings happen when one door closes another door is about to open but in that time where the doors are closing before something else comes along there is the position that we can heal the events of the past. We can heal what it is we need to heal. We can find healing with our communication. We can find healing with our sorting through. Um, there's an awful lot of folk who, when they need to be healed, don't fully do it. 
there's something about admitting or realizing whether it's a misstep I don't like the word mistake because I don't think anything's a mistake I think you can take a misstep like when you're learning to dance you're stepping to a rhythm and sometimes that beat might be off if you're with a partner your partner might be off beat rather than going into a frenzy and saying that you've done something wrong this is a mistake I've taken the wrong turn um, here is Sanat Kumara uh, see how very similar they are it's like they're twin flames and I digress um, I believe that when we are in those modes of change and we're in those modes of healing it's time to embrace the new by gently nurturing the part of the old that needs to be gently nurtured um, gone are the days where we run from one thing to another and go blindly forward now is the time to retreat to um, pull ourselves into a place of love and of healing um, I'm going to pick up the guidebook that goes with that deck of cards to see if there's any extra insight that I need to pay attention to uh, let's see here we go um, this is from Archangel Michael in the words of Radley Valentine who channeled him while he put this deck together at this moment I ask that you open yourself to healing with your consent I now use my sword of light to remove your energetic connections to the past and the present that no longer serve your highest good especially those who are keeping you in place of dis-ease or keeping you in a place of dis-ease injury or addiction the way things have been does not dictate the ways they're going to be in the future and I'm serving severing all your connections to any negative stories that may have formed in your mind so sow out the doubt and heal the fears you won't get any more of them because he's severing them have confidence that you will get better I urge you now to call my brother Archangel Raphael to help you and Raphael says it is my honor to shine my emerald green rays of healing light down upon you this light envelops your aura and begins the healing process related to any physical emotional mental or spiritual experiences that have led your current challenge led to your current challenges I am also creating a beacon to attract the perfect health professionals onto your path so that you get the help that's just right for you oh I'm getting messages from the other two now be open to different methods of healing get second opinions or even more until you find exactly what you need remember that green can also be related to the concept of abundance so this green light helps bring in what you need to pay for your care whether that be money <coughs> insurance assistance from others whatever that means call upon me day or night or every day and I will continue to intensify the light intensify the healing around you and believe in your recovery as we believe in you this message thank you Beatrice these messages of this message I am aligned with my mission and anchored in my purpose we have a lot of work to do to balance out and even out the energies of the world to heal all of our trouble spots in the last several years we've seen good groups of people rising up or groups of good people rising up in protest against what they believe to be injustice there are good intentions but sometimes good intentions means we have to push up against things 
And pushing up against things means that systems, situations, issues, arguments in that jostling, jostling and bumbling and people tend to accidentally take a misstep. We have a balance happening right now between control and freedom. We have a balance between abuse and healing. And this is where Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael in today's energy plus the universal angel numerology of number five says the change is coming. So we've got one door that's closed, another door that's yet to open and we're in the middle of that change making corridor. And in that change making corridor we call upon the light of heaven, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. And we bring these two in, Archangel Michael, heal, sever the energetic ties that bind me to anything that no longer serves my higher purpose. And in that doing that, we call upon Archangel Raphael to heal the wounds that may have stopped us from moving forward, to remove the fear, although that's more Ariel and Gabriel, that crisp communication and the pink light, soft pink light of strength and courage. All of them together can bring about a sense of strength, courage, communication within us. However, right before we open a new door of opportunity, we have to tidy up anything that might be getting in our way. So I'd say that for today, expect all your good intentions to manifest and line up perfectly, particularly when you are healing yourself from past trauma and putting a lid on what it is that you're looking to heal from. And I hear Gertrude saying, very good, that's all you have to say. Thank you, my friends. Until tomorrow, big love. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Hey everybody, we hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with all your friends. Uh, here's a QR code if you decide you'd like to get a private personal reading with me. I'm available most evenings and on the weekends. Just go over to the website, book in what session, 30 minutes, 60 minutes uh, and then fill in the contact information and I'll be back in touch. And if you feel kind enough, here is a link to my donation button. Energy exchange of any amount is always gratefully received. Until next time, be well, be blessed, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.